the top five fantasy football websites, and we're going to rank them from last to first. Ready? Let's go. Number five is by far the worst. NFL fantasy. It is terrible. The website is very difficult to navigate, especially during a draft, which you hate that. There are not real-time updates. Even the mock draft lobby is an absolute nightmare. Do not play that app, that website, NFL Fantasy. And if you're in a league that has that and you're about to draft, convince the commissioner to do elsewise or get the hell out of it. Number four on my list is the Sleeper app. The sleeper app is pretty, it's pretty cool stuff that they've got there that, that you can edit and you can do a lot of different things. One of the biggest things that I love about the sleeper app is the fact that you can pick draft times in between draft picks as long as 24 hours in between picks, which means you could start a draft in the beginning of August and it could last three, four, five weeks. Number three is ESPN. You expect them to be higher than being the worldwide leader in sports. They're simply just not. Their fantasy content on there is average at best. That's why they're at number three. The draft is okay, but the website itself lacks. Number two, CBS Sportsline. Probably pound for pound the best site. The problem is you have to pay $150 to get all the bells and whistles, you don't want that because that is going to take away from your buy-in. Now, if you're in a big money league, if you're in a league that's paying in a thousand, fifteen hundred, even more, then do the CBS Sports Line because you can take a little bit out of everybody's buy-in and pay for it. But if you're doing your typical buy-in at the fifty and hundred dollar range, the hundred fifty dollar to run a site really doesn't make sense. And the number one, still number one fantasy app, fantasy website, however you want to do it, desktop, laptop, on your phone, it's Yahoo Fantasy, and it's not even close. Considering the fact that it's free, you can edit whatever you want to edit in your leagues. You can stay up to date because the Yahoo Fantasy sports updates come at you at the blink of an eye. And when someone is injured and you're in the middle of your draft, you will see that player plummet and you'll see his backup go through the roof that's a big deal when you're going into these drafts and you may or may not be aware of all the injuries to recap number one yahoo number two cbs sports line espn is number three number four is the sleeper app and number five and in far last place is nfl fantasy come over to the armchair quarterbacks youtube channel we have fantasy content all year long, and a Sunday morning show starting September 12th, 10 a.m. to noon, we'll take all your stardom sit questions.